hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a vlog um i'm not very good at holding it in like a position that is complementary to myself um yeah so i'm going mattress shopping because i am redoing my room which is really exciting so at the moment my bed looks like this <laughs> Like, nothing on it except for some clothes and my doona and stuff. Um, but yeah, so, going to look for a mattress. And I'm excited. This is kind of like a before. So there's like a makeup drawer set thing. My mirror's over there. Don't know if it's going to stay there. My wardrobe can't really move. My door... My like bedside table thing that's all also being sold that usually has like my undies, my bras and stuff in there. I moved all that into the bottom brown box that you can see right there. And then this is like a shelf kind of thing with four squares. You can you can see it, it has like books, hair stuff and just random stuff and then perfumes and stuff on the top over here. And then here is like me. <laughs> And then here's like my desk, so stand up. And I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and just make it a lot nicer. And I'm also going to be moving my bed to where my desk is and then moving my desk underneath my window here. So hopefully it's gonna look like really different, more fitting to me, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to get like little bits and pieces to make it a bit more me. And yeah, so I'm excited. I'm just going to take you along with me. Probably not going to be too exciting, but we shall see what happens. Uh, good morning. I look like a hot mess. I know. Um, I'm about to get myself ready for the day. Uh, not too much is going to be going on though. I think the last kind of like clip that I filmed was just me leaving to go mattress shopping <laughs> and i think that was it um i am as pale as a ghost right now i know this um but i am going to show you an overview of my room a bit later when i've like kind of tidied it a bit because it's not a mess but it's just not very nice um oh my god my hair is so naughty I'm going to work out this morning, going to make myself some pancakes, but some healthy pancakes, so I'll show you how I make them, and we will just get on with the day. Okay, so I have gotten into my workout gear, um, yeah, should go and work out now, I've been like procrastinating and like filming this like a hundred times, but I think it's just because I really can't be bothered, but I have to and it's going to make me feel better, it's not going to make me feel any worse. Um, not that I feel like really bad or anything, but yeah, it's just like a gloomy day. So I just need something to like lift my spirits because the sun isn't here to do it for me. So we're going to do an at-home workout. Don't really know what I'm going to do, so I'm not going to film it because I look like an idiot when I work out. Um, and then I'll show you what I eat and how I make it if I can be bothered. Um, see you later when I do that. Okay, so I just finished my workout. Um, sorry if I look like an actual mess. Like, obviously I do still. Um, but while I was watching, while I was doing my workout, I was watching The Good Witch, which is on my TV right now. Um, I just muted it for a bit so I could talk on the camera um, about pointless stuff, which I always do. Um, let's hide my double chin, even though you can still tell that I have one. Um, so... I love like supernatural things. Never actually watched Supernatural, which is funny. Um, haha. Now I'm just gonna make something to eat because I'm starving. Um, I only did a quick workout. I didn't push myself too hard because I think I'm getting a bit sick and I don't wanna like die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but hopefully if the weather's better tomorrow, I'll go for a walk or if it's a bit better later today, I might do that then. We'll see. Um, but for now, I'm going to find a pancake recipe and going to make them. So, yes. Right 
So this is how the batter turned out. It's like a pretty good consistency. It's a bit thick though. Um, but I might add a bit of water and mix it up again. I ended up adding, I ended up using coconut milk, um, and some vanilla protein as well. So hopefully that all works out, um, because I haven't added those two things into the pancake mix before, but I've also recently been trying to have some lemon juice and water. Um, I feel like it just makes me feel a bit better. Yes, this is the dumbest pancake you've ever seen. I went to go like try and spread it out a bit, but it had already like started cooking and like, um, but it was still like a bit, well, like obviously like not very cooked because I just put it on the pan and I went to go like try and spread it out on the pan and it had like stuck, but then it like slipped. So I had to try and like save it. Anyway, <laughs> I tried to save it. Hopefully it is okay. <laughs> Okay, so they're like a bit like well cooked, but I'm gonna have them with Nutella and some cinnamon sugar because That's me if I'm gonna have healthy pancakes I might as well have unhealthy toppings. You know what I mean, but yeah everything in moderation you Wow, I love being in focus there we go <laughs> Um, excuse how yuck I look I'm about to go and get dressed well actually I might just stay in this and I might just do my makeup um and do my hair because it's looking a bit tragic and a bit orange i must say which is kind of gross um but i might go to the shops and get a toner today so i can fix that up because like down the bottom here everywhere is just getting a bit too orange for my liking um so i'm gonna head to the shops try and find a toner have something to eat and i really want to buy a book don't know what book yet but we're gonna see and i'll just mooch around really because i just want to get out of the house i've been studying for like i can't believe it's only been like two and a bit hours but i've been studying for a while like non-stop so yeah just need a bit of a break i might come back and do a bit more in the afternoon we shall see but that is all for me today well not today because i'm going to keep going on with the vlog but it's all for me right now okay bye Okay, so this is an overview of my room. I'm sitting at the door right now. Um, but don't you reckon it just looks so much better? Like, that's literally all. Like, there's my mirror. And then here's, like, the front door. There's my feet. Um, but, so I got this new bed. So it's just, like, an ensemble, I think my mum called it. So it doesn't have a bed head or anything. And honestly, like, that's the best thing that I could have done. It's so comfortable. There's, like, a pile of my pajamas there. But um, it's not like amazingly made. I'm not like the best maker of beds, but this is all I could do. <laughs> Okay, now I have my face on and it's time to get going. See you in the car. <laughs> that didn't even freaking work. That was pointless. Hello. Okay, we are going to the shops. I feel like I look like an orange blob. I don't think my foundation is the right shade when I don't mix it which is so much fun haha <laughs> um but we're going to listen to some tunes while we go around that was the lamest description of anything I've ever heard in my whole life we're gonna listen to some tunes while we go around what the heck is that <laughs> I don't know if I should get something to eat before I go inside 
or if I should get something to eat after. Maybe after. Anywho, let's put on some Mamma Mia. I don't know if the camera's going to stay. It's not even in a good position anyway, but like, that's the best I can do in this car. You know what I mean? Okay, anyways, so we'll see how long it lasts. So, let's put on a song. Sometimes I seriously hate shopping centers. Like, I just couldn't wait to get out of there. Um, I ended up just getting this $5 toner from Chemist Warehouse. And then I got a couple of books. I got this. First, We Make the Beast Beautiful, A New Story About Anxiety by Sarah Wilson. Um, unfortunately, I suffer with anxiety and depression. I know that's a bit of like a big thing to just chuck in a vlog, but I do suffer with that sort of stuff. And um, every day is a new day for me to work out how to control it and how to kind of just, sorry, people are coming out <laughs> of the shopping center, um, to keep it like from not controlling my life. So I just really um, love reading and it kind of is a bit comforting to, oh my God, it feels like my car is actually like about to fly. There's literally people getting into the car next to me. This is so embarrassing. Hi. I'm thinking of getting Maccas for lunch actually. Feeling some nuggets, to be honest. And I really feel like a Coke. Their Cokes are really good. They're leaving. They're getting in their car now. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> um, but like, people are still like gonna be coming out. So yeah, let's just like finish the haul from down here. Last thing I got was um, this Kayla. It's signs. I don't know how to say her last name. It's like Itsins or something. Um, it's called the Bikini Body Motivation and Habits Guide. I have her first book. I think it is the purple one rather than the blue one. This is what this one looks like. Um, and. I kind of just buy it for the recipes because I'm always looking for recipes and this one seemed to have a bit more of my style of eating um, <laughs> which is nuggets <laughs> um, no but I just thought this had a bit better of a variety than my last one so I got this one the books were both $19 each so a bit expensive I wasn't expecting that when I got to the till it was like 40 bucks so I was like uh, okay just take my money um, but yeah so I'm excited to give these uh, read. I always love getting new books and just, you know, having fun. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, I'm gonna get some lunch now. It's kind of a shitty day. It's really gloomy. Like, look at the sky. Anyway, I'm gonna skedaddle. It's like three o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch and I'm starving. So, yeah, okay. See you when I say yeah. Hello. So, this is a bit of like a, not a depressing part of the vlog because um, it's not. It's just like kind of a real talk part of the vlog. So, in the last clip, you would have seen my lunch, um, which could have fed about five people, I reckon. Um, I'm disgusted in myself, honestly. Probably every month, I go through a period of time where I'm like, look, 
you're not a healthy weight like you you guys see my face you guys <laughs> don't really see my whole body um and i know within myself that i am so not happy with the way that i look um i would not look nice in a bikini i have not worn a bikini in about three years and i can't believe it's been that long but that's how long it's been since i've actually been really happy with my body um and that was a bit easier to maintain because i was in school you kind of had scheduled eating times if you know what i mean but now that i've been at home i've had full-time work i just get really bored during the day and i eat and if i've gone out and i've been hungry like today i went out um at around lunchtime and didn't eat until like three and i was like look treat yourself and i could have had something at home like i didn't have to have something out you know what i mean and that just really pisses me off i just keep making excuses for myself and it's so not what i want to be doing i just find it a bit hard to stay motivated and even though like i have an end goal of like what i want to look like how i want to feel everything like that and how i want to be in the interim it's kind of like I don't set myself mini goals and I've been kind of like reading up on it and stuff here and there and I'm like you have to like set realistic goals you're not going to achieve what you want straight away you're going to have to work for it and that's something that I struggle with because when I want something I want all of it like then like and I'm sure everyone in reality does but I'm very impulsive if I think of something I want to do it now I don't want to wait two weeks I don't want to wait three months I don't want to wait a year I want it now which is so not realistic and it's not a great way to think about stuff because I'm like if I can't achieve it in like a week then it's not going to happen and I'm not going to stick with it but like my mind needs to like like I need to train my mind to just calm the ebb down you have your whole life to work on yourself and if you start now it's going to happen sooner and if you stick to it it's all going to happen sooner. Yeah. So like one week I can be so good at like working out, keeping like eating relatively healthy, but then I'll just slip up and I'll be like, you slipped up. Like no point in going back and trying to do it again. Like it's just not good. And I really, really want to change. Like I really do. I say I do. And then I just like, my mind is so lazy and like my physical being is so lazy that I'm just like, eh, like whatever. But this week that just went by has shown me that i can do things that i put my mind to so like i really wanted to change my room and it even took like my mum to say like you have to put your mind to stuff and actually like work for it it's not just going to come to you and i'm like yeah i know i know it won't just come to me like i'm not dumb but like i'm dumb <laughs> my biggest problem area is my stomach and my chest I hate my chest and I hate my stomach like I hate this whole like half of my body <laughs> I just stop taking care of myself and that's so awful like I just stopped doing things for myself um, it was when I kind of like started to really really get anxious and depressed and that's no excuse I guess but it's something that happened to me and that kind of fueled me not being motivated anymore not caring about the way I looked and looks on everything but it also affects how i feel so for me to feel happy and content 80 percent of the time i will be so grateful for and that's only something that i can change no one else can change that for me people can help but not to the extent that you can help yourself do you know what i mean i don't even know if anyone cares i am just rambling um but this is me saying i really really want to change if you have any inspiring things to say to me, please leave them down below because I would love to hear them. I could get anything. Like, I just want to hear anything and everything that you guys have to say. You sneeze. <coughs> bless me. Um, please, God, bless me. <laughs> I just really, really want change in my life. And I'm the only one that can do that for myself. And also, I'm really excited to be to start reading this book. Um, 
if you guys have read it tell me how you felt about it because i know people are waiting on love island i've just like been feeling pretty down on myself so i just haven't had the motivation or even like confidence to be on camera really like i don't know like every time i do my makeup i hate my makeup and yeah i don't know it's just not a good place to be in but everyone has their down days or down weeks you just got to rise above it. Am I right, ladies? Yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening if you listened this far. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment whatever you like. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. See you later. Goodbye.